guys! Welcome back to my channel! So, hello! I'm back! Kamusta? 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 So, it's been a while and yeah, and um, on this video, I'll be sharing you guys my um, experience, the journey that I had in the last month, last few weeks, um, the reason why I was not on YouTube and I'm not uploading much anything on YouTube and I'm not on any live streams and I'm not doing any live streams on YouTube. And as what I told my other friends in YouTube, um that i am going through something we are going through something with my pregnancy so many pinagdadaanan kami and um so right now i'm gonna share it to you and on this youtube channel is um i would like to share my pregnancy journey as much as i can and this journey that we had it was such a big impact to my pregnancy it was it was such a scary experience and um i'm sharing it to you right now um last few weeks i was just feeling so depressed sad anxious and i'm not doing much i was just when my husband go to work and my kids my babies asleep i was just in bed lying and i'm just crying and crying because um and because i'm just so scared i'm feeling so anxious so the reason behind all those um things all those feelings was because i got a positive result of my efts so my enhanced first trimester screening test um, I that means I am high risk. My baby has a possibility of Down syndrome. Whew. So imagine, guys, getting that information was so scary. Like I didn't know what to do. I was just so scared. I was just crying and. You know, so anyway, I have this here, my timeline that I have to go through. So, there, um, on February twenty first, uh, for, sorry, February twenty fourth, um, that was my first ultrasound ever. So, and on that ultrasound, for my, on my first ultrasound, we found out that I am already eleven and a half weeks pregnant. So it's because I can't trace my last menstrual period. I didn't know when was my last period, but it's because um, before this, I I had miscarriage and I have Alina, like you know. So my periods were irregular, so I really can't trace. I really can't count well. So on that um, ultrasound, they found out that we found out that I'm eleven and a half weeks pregnant. So when I was in the ultrasound clinic, the so the clinic ordered or fax my doctor's office to fax a requisition, a request they call it in Philippines, for a uh, blood work for a test that is the first enhanced first trimester screening because they're gonna do it as early as eleven weeks only so that time so i didn't have to go to other other time and i didn't have to go to any other building as it's the same building so efts enhanced first trimester screening it's only as simple as blood work guys so it's just they're gonna draw blood from you and they're gonna test that um they're gonna get um and then you're gonna get the result and like after like a week i guess so and then so that was it and then so it was just as simple as that so it's normal when i did that so after my ultrasound i get the requisition so i went to the lab and then they 
they draw blood from me and then other tests and then simple it was like i did that the same thing with alina too because in here in canada probably in other countries too they do that uh it's a simple blood test for pregnant women i mean it's a basic blood it's a bla basic test they do to all pregnant women to see if your baby have any genetics problem or any problems with your baby so it's just um, a screening test so after that on march 15 i had uh, my doctor's appointment so i went to see my doctor personally in person so that time i have alina i have alina with me and lg and then doctor told me okay um you're 31 years old so yes doc so um yeah this shows you're a high risk um you're a high risk so that's what he only said as far as i remember because i can't um understand everything much because i have a toddler with me or i have a baby with me and i have another kid so it was just it's hard to go on appointment with uh, with kids right so it didn't sink in too much okay so, and then he just told me that um, we're gonna need more blood work we're gonna need more tests to confirm i just said okay it was no i don't know what the doctor thought maybe it's like okay she okay she's just did she understand what i'm what she's saying so kind of like that i just said okay okay i just said okay doc like you know it's just normal because uh, it didn't sink into my mind I didn't really understand um how serious was that so after that we went home and then when we went home when alina's ready asleep and i have this time on myself that's when i thought okay what did the doctor said high risk so what does that mean like okay so when i googled it i checked it i was reading i said oh gosh this seems serious like oh so and then that's when i started getting crazy i started lots of things in my mind getting paranoid and you know lots of things came into my mind and then that's when i i made a phone call to doctor's office and set up another phone call appointment with my doctor to ask more questions because that's i did my research i read and i that's when i already know things what to ask him and what could be the possibilities and other stuff that i should know right like you know because when he told me i didn't have any idea what was that like that's when it's only when i read when i read it it's when i found out that oh gosh this is serious or this could be like yeah really serious so on march 24th i had um my i had a phone call with my phone call appointment with my doctor so that's when i asked all questions all the things that i want to ask him and I asked him, Doc, what does my result really says? What does high sorry, what does high risk really says? What's the numbers? What's are what are those things? What are the tests that I have to go through? What kind of tests? What are they gonna do with me? So I have lots of questions, like explain it to me, what are the numbers? So to all the women who's who went through this this kind of stuff, please, please, my advice is don't be shy don't be scared to ask your doctor um i've learned that even the dumbest question you ever, can you even think of you need to think you need to ask your doctor for your peace of mind too and for you to know of course so then that's when my doctor explained it to me and then okay um he, he he's he was nice he tried to make me feel better and then i won't be feel anxious but then i said it's when I found out that the, um, when he said that um, genetics, they're going to refer me to a genetics uh, clinic, to a genetics counselor. So just from the word that genetics makes me already scared, right? And then I found out that it's going to take a um, few, couple or few weeks before they're going to call me. And then not even they are going to have the test. They're going to call me first. For an appointment not the test right away so 
gosh, I was so anxious. I really don't know what to do. Like, like I said, no, I can't wait for that time. Like, I'm just sitting here and I, I don't know what's going on with my baby. I don't know what's going to happen. I can't do anything. It makes me anxious, really. Like, you know, and it's like, okay, just your know, doctor, doctor told me, you know, um, you're just making assumptions. We're still just doing screening. You're just like, you know, don't be scared. It was just a screening. It's just like, um, when we do pap smear, it doesn't mean you have a cancer or you have like, you know, we're just screening you. But then, of course, I am still so, I was still so scared because it talks about my baby, right? So, yeah, we don't know what's going on, what's going to happen. Like, those days were agony, like waiting. So, and then I asked him, is there any other things that we have to do, other things that we can do right away i i don't need to wait for this few weeks because it's just dragging me so badly so crazy that you know i have to wait but i didn't have any other choice but to wait so but then the good thing is it didn't take them a couple weeks for them to call me so i got a phone call from the genetics clinic and then they on march 30 so they called me on march 30 for um april 1st so two days after that to book me for genetics counseling so only virtual so like oh i thought we're gonna meet um in person and you know so but it's only virtual then so that's when um they're gonna trace family history um, explain it to you what is it all these chromosomes all this dnas and explain everything and then um the tests that you have to go through and what what's the steps like all those things so i thought first thing is like okay we have to go there personally to the to the hospital and then um talk with them but the, and get the test right away but it's not that's not the that's not the case so Right away, two days after that, so April 1st, I have my genetics counseling through Zoom, virtual. And then, so that's what I said. They explained it, everything. And then, so that's when they said that the test that I have to do um, next was the, there are two types of tests that I have to go. It's the either the amniocentesis or the harmony test. The amniocentesis was the invasive kind of test that they gonna like um take fluid right away from your tummy right from the baby and and that is an invasive test that's um with the risk of miscarriage so my possibility na makunan with the risk of miscarriage though it's one percent but still a risk right and then but then the good thing with that is you'll get the result right away so um so we'll have the result we'll get everything right away and then the result is also 99.9 percent .9 effectiveness and then the other test is the new test new one that they have is called the harmony test which is only um they get um they draw blood from you also and then that's when they test also the genetics problems especially for the down syndrome its effectiveness is 99.9 percent .9 they'll find out about the down syndrome and that test is non-invasive so this, it's the same as um, blood work they're just gonna draw blood from you it's a special kind of test though but yeah it's same thing just gonna draw blood from you and it's gonna um the result but then the result will take um 10 days for the result so it was i didn't know i'm torn between those two tests because like i can't decide that time right away like because i want to know right away right but then the thing with the other one is risky what if my baby is good and then i'll have a miscarriage so i i'm like okay i don't know what to do and then and then the other one was gonna take 10 days okay i have to wait again for another 10 days so it was such uh, um 
uh, what you call that confusing i don't know what i it was it was so hard to decide on that moment but then so and also the harmony test by the way here in canada so everything all the ultrasound the consultations and all the lab works the blood works and anything is actually free here in canada so i didn't spend anything even a cent it's it's, it's free here in canada if like yeah if you have we have that OHEP card so it's free and then um so the genetics test actually is um it's a very expensive test um it costs five hundred dollars but it's because it is referred by my doctor it's because my result of an efts was positive so i was eligible to um to have that free test by the government so it's free but then if your result is with the EFTS is negative then if it's not referred by your doctor so you have to fa to pay that five hundred dollars so there are some couples actually they said there are co some couples who also chose to pay that to know you know but then so after that okay it was I chose to do the harmony test and then there i have to wait i was just waiting is waiting is dragging as is dragging me and she was making me anxious but there's nothing else i can do i just have to wait and i was just praying of course uh, only thing i can do is to pray i pray and pray so hard every night as a strong catholic faith i'm just i just do rosary did my novena and all those things like you know so and my of course i know my mom my husband they're praying for me and for the baby and then on april 13th i got a phone call so that's when they said that um, they're going to give me the result through a phone call. That genetics counselor is the one who's going to call me and tell me the result. And by the way, guys, the result of this harmony test is, yeah, as I said, it's 99.9%, .9%, especially for the Down syndrome. But then it's the result is nothing in between. It's either your high risk, that means your baby have a down syndrome and if you're low risk then that means you're safe your baby's normal your baby's good so that was scary it was so scary for me so april 13 i got a phone call then she said hey hi this is yeah i said oh gosh yeah i've been waiting for your call like yeah and then she said yeah it's good news your baby's totally well, your baby's fine, your baby's good, nothing, there's no other, no trisonomy 18, no tr trisonomy 21, and any other trisonomy that she said I can't already remember because I'm overwhelmed. And then that's when I'm like, oh God, thank you. I was just, when she was calling, she's telling me, um, it's the result is one out of 10,000. So like, I'm already crying. Like, I was so happy. So, oh gosh, thank you. Praise God. Like, you know, so I said, thank you. Thank you. And then I called my husband right away. I called my mom right away. And then, yeah, it was so like, you know, so she said, there's nothing else we have to do. No further tests. And you're okay. You're good. You know, so that was it. So if you guys um noticed or like, Okay, what's the reason behind why does it says high risk? Like, you know, my age does is not I'm still under high risk. Over 35, that's when it show it's it's under high risk. But then I'm still 31, so it's I'm shouldn't be in that one. But then when I spoke to the genetics counselor, um, she said it's one thing um could trigger or could cause the irregularity or in inaccurate of the um the test the result will be i have a missing information and that is um they don't have the information of my weight 
and then as also my doctor said yeah that could that's a big impact too so they they check maternal age the weight and i forgot the other thing but yeah if there's some missing information with that test that they did it's gonna make a difference big difference so hey guys say she's awake we're back Dad. Daddy! Daddy, yeah. Mom. Such a daddy's girl. Mom! Yeah, baby. So, praise God, everything's good now. I can look forward in preparing my pregnancy and I can be excited now. And by the way, with that test that I had, they could also already check, see the gender of my baby. So, they told me if I want to find out my the gender and I said, yeah. But then I, when she called me, okay, do you want to find out the gender? Because I already, I only want to find it out if it's okay or, I mean, if the result is good, right? And then, so I said, yeah, but then um, could you just forward it to my doctor and I'll get an envelope so we could do a gender reveal. So check out for our gender, gender reveal video soon, guys. And... Praise God. God is good. He answered all our prayers. He's, yeah, so he answered our prayers. And I can say nothing is really impossible with him. He's our God, our Savior, our, our great healer. So thank you, God. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Ate Alina, Ate Alina. Okay, so that's... um my experience guys so thank you for listening thank you for watching and um keep posted with our video soon and i'll be um yeah uploading more and we're great now feeling great and keep safe everybody say bye guys bye guys i just woke up bye guys <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye. 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 So bye guys. God is good all the time. <laughs>